What is going on, everybody? Draco Invictus here, and I am just getting things ready, uh, getting everything shared out. So just bear with me just a second while I get this all ironed out, and we'll get this party started. And guys, I'm going to warn you right now, uh, I do have a thunderstorm rolling through the area. So uh, <laughs> this party could be cut really short if my power goes out. So just want to let everyone know. So if I just like up and disappear, you know why. All right, so everything is shared out and uh, we are ready to go. So I am going to uh, jump into the intro and then we'll see what adventure awaits in Grounded. All right, getting loaded into the game. Hi there, Miss Stella. How you doing, dear? How's the motherland treating you? All right, so here we are. Um, this is exactly where we left off last night. I didn't want to change a thing. I didn't move back to the base. Uh, as you can see, our markers have changed. That was one of the things that they warned us about. Uh, we just need to go through and like retouch them up and uh, re you know focus them on what we want them to be. But I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the uh, stink bug and orb weaver quest that we have so that we have an opportunity to perhaps pick up some new quests from a good old burgle. Hope everyone's having a wonderful evening. Missed the jump. I'm gonna get eaten by orb weavers. Now I did um I did spend some time in the game this afternoon. I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. <laughs> Actually, um, I wanted to make sure. And one thing I noticed, it I don't know, it feels like orb weavers are maybe a little bit smaller, like they changed the model up or something. I don't know. Could just be me. I, I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. And I overshot again. Oh, I did right where we want to be. So there are a bunch of new things in this game, and uh, we will cover as many things as we can uh, this evening. So for any of you that were wondering, uh, one thing that they added is that things that you can interact with now um, is part of the accessibility options. Now highlights. So I dig it. It makes things much, much easier. So I'm going to leave that on. 
All right, Burgle. Uh, get any work for me. Actually, no, we're not going to take work or ant. I'm going to reject that from you. I'm done taking those quests from you for a while. Matter of fact, we're going to abandon the stink bug. We're going to abandon the orb weaver, even though we were three of five on that. Actually, we may not abandon that because we were three of five on that. So, um, Burgle shouldn't have anything in here. Look at that. So, that tells me that the chips that are in the world don't actually unlock anything else. They messed up. Because these are two new chip unlocks, but we haven't obviously turned in any chips. So um, we're going to buy these meat shield and uh, buff lungs. Uh, it gives us a chance to talk about some of the new mechanics in the game that I'm actually kind of stoked about. Uh, it, it's actually very reminiscent of uh, perk cards in 76 except they call them mutations. So if we come over here uh, to our status tab, which is a new tab in the game, we can see that we have active mutations, zero of three active. We just bought two of them. And uh, so we have buff lungs. You inhale and your cells burn bright with an enhanced energy capacity. And then we also have meat shield. Your size to meat ratio is off the charts and you take hits like a champ. So we're gonna go ahead and equip both of these because we can have up to three active. So uh, now we have a little bit more energy, a little bit more stamina, and we have a little bit more health. Not bad for just firing up the old game. So we'll come back and see Burgle. Um, actually, let's finish up this orb we request. sprint out here now here's some things that I'm very very upset about uh, let's go through them in order uh, venom arrows are one-time use now so we cannot pick up venom arrows again gas arrows are one-time use and you don't even get to pick up the regular arrow afterwards you're just stuck Oh, apparently he doesn't like me being up on the rock. Come here. I want to test you. Come on. Come on down. Yeah, I see you there. You're bowing up. Well, apparently it's the orb weavers are still pretty stupid. Now, of course, they haven't given a reason why there's mutations in the game, but I think I have it uh, figured out. I think we have mutations in the game because we're picking up all of this raw science, and it's actually the science, the raw science itself that is our currency is affecting us metabolically. So you guys will have to let me know in the chat what, what you think about my, uh, my deduction there. Apparently, they still have not fixed this third person wide angle thing like they said they did because that was weird. All right, so now we're four or five. Should be easy enough to find another orb weaver around here. And there's things in the water now. Electric cotton. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Marcus. Electric cotton candy. Thank you, buddy. Man, I overshot that one. Also read a very interesting theory today that I had shared with Marcus on Discord. Um, that each of the kids actually has like a secret trait. So the, the theory is, is that each one of the kids have something that they're a little bit more special at than the others. Like Allie, for instance. She can run farther with a single bar of stamina than any of the other kids. It probably isn't by much, but it's just enough. She has that little bit of an edge because she's a basketball player. And that stupid thing is really loud. I need to turn that down. Um, Willow can cut down grass and weeds faster. Like her strong hit will take down a weed in like two hits where it takes us three. It takes everyone else three. Um, Pete's hunger and thirst go down slower. 
so it's things like that that just each one of them have a, a something a little bit special but there's no mention of it anywhere where did all the spiders go hello i'm knocking on your door oh, i see grass moving what is going on ghost how you doing why am i collecting spider webs because i'm shooting at a freaking Hello? Anyone home? It's the neighbor from next door. I, 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 I need a cup of milk. You guys have a cup of milk? Hello? Where the hell did everybody go? There's gotta be an orb weave around here somewhere. We saw the grass moving. Oh, there we go. Oh, now I have here two things moving. Let's get back up on this log. Oh, it's just two orb weavers. Okay. Where are you going? Oh, come here. Oh, damn. Are you stuck over there? Oh, I think you are. Can I shoot you though? Yep, I sure can. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to cheese my way out of this. <laughs> We're not invited. Yeah. Because I'm like kicking down their doors and there we go. Collect all my precious arrows. And then, uh, okay, so we now have no quest. We need to wait until after midnight for Burgle to give us some new quests. Perfectly fine with that. So we're going to head back over to the base. Matter of fact, um, I'm going to pick up pretty much anything I can pick up over here. Nectar, flower petals. Why not? Right? Need to kill a little bit of time before we can call it a night. No, that's my nectar, you little sneak. Go get your own. Did you see that? I took that right out of that ant's mouth. I was like, uh-uh. Not happening. All right. So some of the other changes, um, the, there is a, there's that scares me every single time. I'll eventually get used to it. I'm doing well, ghost. Uh, that was actually just a grub moving under the ground. So some of the interesting things that I noticed today with like Burgle's new quests and stuff like that, he's giving me quests for crap that I've already done. Yeah. See, it's just grubs. So that is something that we're going to have to deal with. Like um, it, the other character I was playing, I had to build ladybug armor or a ladybug chest plate. Well, I've already built that. But it's free raw science and I had plenty of pieces and parts, so I made it. What is going on, Frank? How you doing? Frank had, <laughs> Frank had been messaging me most of the afternoon. Oh, did you see this? Did you see that? And we'll get into some of the building stuff. I haven't talked about any of that yet, Frank. So, but we will definitely be touching on building stuff around here. Just kind of hop through here a little bit. So we do have a few new bugs. And one other massive thing. But now we're right now we're just killing some time. Picking up aphid poop, flower petals, pollen, nectar, whatever. So it's going uh, they're now called husky weeds. 
Think you can get a jump on me? Come on. Come on. It takes two more hits with the Mint Mallet to kill the Orb Weaver. So that's how much they nerfed it. The Mint Mallet. I'm not too worried about that. That's not bad. At least it wasn't some mega nerf. Got a wolf spider come out of nowhere by the pop can at the oak tree. Oh, really? So that one right there, huh? My inventory is full. Wow. I mean, it's not full, full, but we just can't pick up any more petals. We can pick up pollen. And uh, no, we did not get bees and no, we did not get fish. That light, I was like, lightning, that's different. That's cool. <laughs> Is it going to start raining and we're like, we have to start dodging raindrops? That would be fantastic. I would love that. All right, it is time to sleep. So we will head over to the house. So you mean the soda pop can right where I have a house built. That's what you're saying, Big Frank. All right, gotcha. What's going on, True? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, if a wolf spider come crawling out of this can, oh man, time to move. All right, um... Let's see. I don't think we have yet. Yeah, we have nothing for the rack. Uh, we've just got a bunch of empty stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and um, so, so some of the little, uh, you know, ease of life things. Uh, we now have a retrieve or deposit stack, which is much nicer. I mean, that is so much faster. It's it's not even funny. What is that? Oh, that's what the new stink bug sack looks like. Fair enough. Well, I guess we should probably burn through those and make some arrows, huh? Um, there's a few things that are new, Lone Wolf. Um, we haven't really got into a bunch of the new stuff yet. There's not a ton of new content. I think that they ran into more technical issues than they, um, than they anticipated. And, uh, so they, uh, they released what they had. I think that they wanted to release the pond or the bees or something, but I think that they're still working on some stuff. So we got what they had. And of course they're facing backlash for that. And I get it. You know, people are upset. But on the same token, I mean, it is what it is. Just because some YouTuber decided to get into the developer side of the game and tried guessing as to what the new content was coming <laughs> and missed huge. I mean, missed everything that was coming. <laughs> yeah, that was not good. And no, I'm not talking about me. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I'm not that stupid to go, Oh, I know exactly what's coming. Here's what's confirmed. And none of it showed up. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm, again, I think we have to give it time. We know that they're working on that, Frank. Because, I mean, the developer himself said that they were working on it in the interview, so. He didn't come out of the pop can. He came from somewhere behind me. Okay, I gotcha. All right, so I ate the jerky. I'm also testing other little things. Like, okay, I know how long I used to be able to go in the morning with with Allie, with the equipment that I'm wearing, how far can I go now? Did they nerf the food a little bit and just didn't say anything? You know, it's little things like that, so. I'm doing well. Um, I was supposed to do all my I-9 paperwork for my new job today. And, um... Uh, I totally forgot that I needed my driver's license for my I-9 paperwork, which was forgotten by me and the technician at the clinic yesterday. So, um, 
Yeah, she's mailing me my my ID as of yesterday afternoon, but it wasn't here today. So I'm hoping that no one's going to be too terribly mad that I wait until tomorrow to do the paperwork. All right. Do you have any new work for me, Burkle? Yes. Build a sprig bow. Thank you, Burgle. So he didn't give me any... I mean, this is a... I'm doing the air quotes, new quest. But... Gnats and spiderlings. Burgle, you suck. So, let us go exploring a little bit. we have to kill spiderlings anyway we have to craft a sprig bow jesus all right let's see what's going on in the yard we have to fix our markers because they're all kind of i mean the house markers are both good i haven't set one in the hedge yet Yep, that it's very true. Matter of fact, I just showed everyone that it doesn't unlock anything new because you get the the two new items in Burgle shop before even touching. But I am going to wait uh, to pick up those Burgle chips since they're not offering anything else anyway until I get the quest for them. At least I get the raw science for doing the quest. So, so let us go. Let's see. Spiderlings. We could head to the hedge. Yeah, let's head to the hedge. Oh, before I do, I need to build. I need to build a, a spear. Now you may be saying to yourself, why does Draco need to build a spear? That's a tier one weapon. What, what could he possibly use a spear for? Well, there's something in the game, and I don't want the spoiled meat. Soon that'll go away. There's something new in the game that right now, the only way that we can kill it is with the spear or the shovel. And the shovel takes too long. So... How's our torch? Our torch is good. So we're going to head over toward the hedge. Screw you, stink bugs. My whole yard's going to be filled with stink bugs because I'm going to refuse to kill them from now on. I do like the updates that they made to the, um, to the icons though. In your inventory, that's pretty nice. Glad they added spider icons to show where they are on my map. There is anyway. There's icons on your map that you didn't put there. Yes, no wipe, Jake, no wipe. I don't have spider anything on my map. Or is it just the the um the flag marker where you can set it as a spider? Is that what we're talking about? All right, so let's uh, put our spear in place in slot three. I'll introduce you guys to one of the new creatures. And yes, they live underwater. And they are part of a new smoothie recipe. There he is. Introducing the water flea. Oh, better get some air. Or the water gnat or whatever it is. Yeah, water flea. Oh, there's two of them. Nice. Oh, wow. I have stumbled upon their breeding grounds. Well, no, they told us that the markers were going to need some work, that you'd have to do a tour around the yard to fix your markers. Because they added more markers. Oh, 
Oh, dude, man, I have been craving some Panda Express now. Nearest one to me is a half hour away. So the last time I went there, there you couldn't go inside, right? You had to do the drive through. But I, because I live a half hour away, I literally sat in my car and uh, and ate it right in their parking lot <laughs> because I wasn't going to let it get cold. All right, so we've met the the water flea, and if you have the right materials. Which I believe are plant fiber and oh, what was the other one? Oh, we have to kill gnats too. Get out of the water. Come here. Come on back. Oh, now you're going to be a turd. Ah, oh, there you go. We'll take that nap meat too. Ugh, stuck in the clover. So they added, um, let's see, can you walk across this? No, you still can't walk across it. This leaf is new though. Because look at where my lean to is and this used to all be open area. So that's new. The elevator still works. But I heard that the uh, the uh, bounce pads don't snap the same way they used to. So I may have to refigure out the elevator and then make an updated video for it. Oh, what was it? It was... Man. I don't want to waste what I have. Hi, hey, boys. Yeah, see? Still kill the larva just fine. Inventory full. Oh, no. Uh, Aiden, those were actually in creative mode. You could build those already. If you're talking about the cave, yeah, I've also seen that. But um, I don't... Can you actually build those in, in game now as a decoration? It's a good question. We will talk about... Uh, nope, still can't build them. Everything is still mounted. They even got rid of all the stuffed stuff. So um, they added two different fences. We now have acorn fences and sprig fences. They also added a grass table and a clover table. So now we can have tables in our house. All right, it, it was plant fiber. I don't think it was a sprig. Maybe it was. Plant fiber, sprig, flea meat. Oh no, inventory full. Well, that's horrible. Well, I wanted to plant a, a marker here anyway. Because then we could talk about the markers. All right, so as you can see, they added a bunch more markers. You have the A, B, C, D. I, I guess you could do your houses with A, B, C, D. That would be a good way to do it. Uh, if you had a lean-to out somewhere and didn't actually have a base, you could just put the little Zs there. Frickin' might. I thought it was like larva or something. <laughs> anyway. Um, I think uh, they, they added this color green. We had this color before. Now they added like this olive green. Um, no koi this update. Yep, it, absolutely. And uh, honestly, I don't think that they were ready for the pond. I think that they still had some things that they wanted to get ironed out in-house before they released it out into the world. So they held off. I would much rather have them do that. See you, Plaz. Thanks for stopping in. Ah, he would like come and gone like a fart in the wind. What's going on, Barbarian? Um, 
Anyway, I would much rather see them hold stuff back from an update than release it half-assed and then it's really, really buggy and stuff like that because the people are angry now, but how angry would they be if the new update came out and you couldn't play it because half the crap was broken? Uh, so it, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of a thing. Uh, let's see what colors. Uh, we have blue. We have red. So yeah, we'll uh, yeah we'll leave this one green. Make it a house. Be good to go. Well, we haven't even figured all that out yet, Jake. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go try and make a smoothie with a sprig, a plant fiber, and this flea meat what thing, whatever it is, the water flea meat. Let's see how we do. So one of these, one of those, one of those. Nope, I guessed wrong. I know that it requires this, uh, this water flea meat. Can, can we put that? Can we cook that? Can we put that on the jerky rack? No, we can't. Okay, so all we can put is the nap meat. All right, Jake, no need to spam, buddy. Did Plaz, okay, did, did, did Plaz say something to me that I missed? Because I see a message retracted. What happened? See, now I have to like, pause and scroll up and see what I missed. Nothing. I, I, I don't see anything that I missed. Hot wings do sound good, Frank. All right. Um, I know it's out there, but I don't want to pause to, to go look for it. They really need to fix this whole third camera thing because this is weird. Hey, there we go. Natural Explorer. We just picked up another status. Natural Explorer. With each landmark found, you gain a better understanding of the lay of the land. Your tiny feet traverse the yard like it's the back of your hand. So uh, we either, it's not more stamina, but it's probably like a faster run speed or something like that. Good on barbarian. So why did he redact his own <laughs> or retract his own comment? That's weird. Anyway. Okay. So it was not, I know it's plant fiber. I'm looking it up because it's going to bother me if I don't. I should have written it down earlier when I saw it. Yeah, apparently this site doesn't know either. <laughs> let us see, let us see. Ch -ch -ch. All right. Not finding it there. That's not good. 
So now I, I turn to the other source that I have for such things. And it was over here. I'll find it. Don't you guys worry. I will bring you this information. And if you guys find it before me, let me know. I know that it's edible by itself. Ah, got it. I was close. Clover plant fiber. Water flea meat. There it is. Liquid gills. So now if we come into our inventory, we look at liquid gills. A scientific mystery that allows you to breathe underwater for a short time. It's edible. It gives you the veteran diver, which obviously slows down your O2 burn rate. And um, it heals you. So there you go. I knew I'd find it. All right. So let us... Uh, what time of day is it? It is 15.10, Though oh, that's another thing that they changed. The clock doesn't count... It, it used to jump every five minutes, so it'd be 15, 15, and then 15, 20, and then 15, 25, and yada, yada, yada. Um, but now it counts up slower. Since we're here, let's go hunt down some spiderlings. Because I'm sure there's one right over here on these mushrooms. Yep, I see them already. And that's one. So I'm looking at, I'm burning through thirst a lot faster now because I used to go pretty much all day. So that's something that they tweaked. Oh, there's number three. Come here. We're going to keep going. Over on this branch here. Where are you? Oh, there you are. That's number four. Uh, no, you can't put the the water flea meat on the on the rack. I already looked. And I was hoping our new friend was here, but. He's not. Another change that they made, the berries now float. So that's good. Now, once they're in this deep water, you just got to kind of push them closer to the edge. Just make sure they stay close. And then you can jump up here. Grab your little axie axe. And Bob's your uncle. All right. So now we're actually going to head up on top. I think they rebalanced uh, because it was out of balance before. So they're trying to get closer into balance there, Marcus. I think those were the words you're looking for.
All right, where are you little spiderlings? Well, there's none out here, but. And they did a much better job. They actually, uh, the draw distance is a little bit further. So now those hills, even from this distance are still covered in grass. So that's nice. And now we need to get, we need to get over there. Where's the best way to do that? I suppose right here. There we go. And back into the hedge we go. Ooh, an orb weaver. That's going to be fun fighting one here. Oh, you're just going to show your ass to me? Is that some sort of mating ritual? <laughs> well, I'm going to tap it full of arrows. How's that sound? <laughs> I know, right? All right, so here we are at the hedge base. Which we've explored before. You come over here and you jump into that that little uh a little broken out piece there. But that's not what we're going to do today. I'm actually looking for I think I need to keep going this way. Oh, maybe that's not going to take me anywhere. Be over here. Whoa, oh, oh. oh. All right, let's turn the markers off so I can see where the hell I'm walking. Okay, this isn't actually where I wanted to go either. But let me make sure they didn't add anything up here. Open says me. All right. So they did not put anything new in here. I'd like to go now. Thank you. You do get quite a view of this upper part of the yard, which we have nothing going on there. Nothing over here. I have to get back down this stick. Ooh. I don't think this is where we actually want. Oh, yeah, I guess we do. I'm down here. I'm actually looking for something else, but this will work. This gets us. Oh, 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 wow. Try this again. I, oh, no. Oh. Dang it. Now we got to do it all again. Because we could look around up here really quick. I don't think there's anything up here. I think we looked up here before. No. I got to do that whole thing again. Are you kidding me? Can I climb up that? Oh, I'm not going to be able to get high enough, I don't think. 
I don't know. Whatever I need to do, I need to turn on the torch. This is getting dark under here. Nope. I keep, I'll slide off that. Oh no, I got it. All right, Let's see if we can't figure this out. All those spiders in there that just want to eat me. Is the door still locked? Oh my gosh, I did it again. Oh, no dandelion. I was like, what question? <laughs> Maybe I need to head in that direction. Can I get, oh, oh, I can. Dang it. I still have torch left. And this isn't actually where I was hoping to find, but since we're here. What's happening? Man, we got the new update. How are you doing, T-Bone? Yeah, we got the update, so now I'm over in one of the old areas. Oh, because they didn't actually unlock any new areas with the update, so. Now I'm just falling down. There's more spiderlings up here. That's why I'm doing this. And I don't want to try and find the one that's underneath the hedge on the ground. What was in the update? A bunch of stuff. And I'm just, I, I'm not trying to spoil anything. So I'm not talking about anything without first showing it, you know? There's one really, really big thing, but you have to see it to believe it. Getting there. I have to find my path or fall repeatedly. Um, well, they changed up some markers. They added a few new quests, the, uh, the new chips to unlock more stuff from the store are broken as in there's nothing in them, <laughs> but you have automatically two new things in. Burgle's inventory that you can buy. They're seven grand a piece. They are mutations. Mutations are something new that they've added. It's under status. Right now we have three of them. One that gives us more stamina. One that gives us more health. One that lets us run faster. So these are all the ones that are available right now. You can have three active at any one time. 
And um, so you can see that there are 11 that they have in the game right now. Oh, no, sorry, that's 13. I need to learn how to count again. Um, and, the, like, if you kill a bunch of ants, then you get the ant annihilator uh, mutation that uh, lets you do more damage against ants and you take less damage from ants. So that's something else that you can get. Uh, those are the only four that I know of right now that I know specifically what they do. Uh, they changed up a bunch of the icons. Uh, obviously not spoiled meat. That's still the same. Um, matter of fact, nothing. Oh, yeah. The uh, stink bug gas sack, for instance, you know, has a brand new icon. Uh, there's, uh, like I said, there's one big thing in the game that um, that you really have to see to believe. See, if I think if I go up there, I'm just going to get stuck. No, 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 no. We're getting there. Uh, let's see what else. They nerfed the mint mallet a little bit. It's not as strong and it doesn't do as much stun. But it's still the best uh, weapon in the game right now that we know about. Look at that. Got back where up to where we were. So I'm going to come over here. We're going to go on this branch. Because that will, we can drop down from here. Right? So now we're on top of the hedge base. Coming to fix your Sony Vegas Friday. Nice. What's wrong with your Sony Vegas? As you can hear, there are a bunch of spiders in there. And the spot we are looking for is actually right over here. Is it? Yep. All right. So I'm going to do something here that I don't do too often. I'm going to save. Because if I miss, I'm just going to reload. So, because the object here is to actually kind of show you guys inside. And there's actually a hole right there. But you have to jump just right to get inside. So, we're, we're, it took me about four or five minutes when I did it earlier today. Not recognizing files. Oh, not that's not good. Yep. Oh, yeah. I think that hurt her a little bit. Hear the cracking sound as all of our armor broke. <laughs> it wasn't bones, I promise. It was not bones. They also changed up um, some of the little logos in the little scabby in the corner. Oh, almost had that one. I pushed my Sony Vegas to the absolute limits this morning making the uh, the update video. It took three and a half hours to render a 12 minute video. Oh no, that was not a good jump at all. You have to have a better angle on it. Ugh, almost. Yeah, after I got off the stream, I was like, I went and sat on the couch for about five minutes and I was like, you know what? 
I need to go make that video. So came back in here and uh, went to bed at about 2.30. And then got up at 7.30 to finish so that it could finish after it was done rendering. All right, Barbarian, have a great night, buddy. Nailed it. Now we just have orb weavers to deal with. See, these guys look small. Look at them. They're like, like itty bitty orb weavers. But welcome to welcome to the hedge lab, everybody. See, there's a switch here. It's obviously in the open position, but if I switch it down, if I close it, you can't interact with it anymore. So I don't know that I want to touch it. We have an analyzer here. And now our little scabby went away because if we look at our map, we now actually have the hedge lab and the hedge lab breach, which we already had. So. Let's fire up the old torch. Now, I know that there are a couple more orb weavers in here. Uh, there's a tape in here, so we'll go get that as well. Oh, crap. Two of them? He just broke my armor. How do you get in here without cheating? <laughs> because every door is locked. Oh, this guy can open doors. Look at him. You're looking the wrong way, dude. Yeah, the door at the bottom's locked. The door at the top is locked. All right, so here's the tape. So let's go ahead and listen to that. Supplemental log, ominous practical technologies, Tully. Oh, whatever, I'll sort it later. The important thing is I have done it! Success! The spacer has worked its magic. I have successfully shrunk a set of basic plastic polyhedral dice from the size of standard dice to no bigger than the size of... Well, much smaller dice. Uh, Burgle, make a note to come up with a better comparison. Noting. You did it. Nonetheless, this is a complete exoneration. However, it occurs to me that I have a new problem. The dice were intended to be young Foe's Christmas present. He will be disappointed. But perhaps I can convince him that they were miniature dice. The tiny instructions might be a bit of a giveaway. A new solution may be required. To the fun pit toy mark before they close. All right, this, so there we go with that. Let's uh, turn our audio back down as the the screeching banshees of the uh, the spiders. I'm gonna run out of torch here. Off the mushroom. This is the only door that's accessible, right? Well, if I kept going down. This door here? No, that door. Down here. And it's locked. That's the one off the mushroom. You've always been able to get in here, Commander. You just have to make the jump right. Ah, here they are. See, I told you guys I was here for spiderlings. And you got this guy that's hiding. You can't hide from me, young one. Go back, okay?
Window on the right. It's a window. And you can't go through the door. No, uh, we are going to... Uh, I'm waiting for Burgle to actually give me the quest. Because right now the chips are broken. There's actually nothing on them. So um, if I'm going to go pick it up, I at least want the uh, raw science that he's going to give me. So... And there's raw science somewhere around here, but obviously it's not on top because we walked on along the top of all this stuff already. So it's got to be underneath in the head somewhere, like down there. You're talking about the one that's all busted out on the corner? Yeah, you can only get into that one room. You can't get into the rest of this. You can't get to this analyzer. That is actually over here. Oh, I just went in a big circle. <laughs> It'd be easier to see at night. Around here. Oh, it's it's our friend. I heard him. This is very true, Commander. Up. Okay. Going up. I'm pretty much as up as you can get. Because now I'm going down again. And I'm back in that same room. where this is broken out and you have to jump from up there into this little hole. That's how you actually get into the main part. Yeah, see, up is, we're now walking in circles. Oh, it's this door. Yeah, see this door is locked because it goes to that other little piece and my torch just died. Because that's the section that we could get into before with the window, the huge like corners all blown out. And you could just walk along the stick and jump or walk right in there. But you couldn't get past this door into the rest of the lab. So now we get to jump into the dark and find our way home. All right, Carney, got it. Not to, okay, I'm on the ground. I'm gonna head toward the outer part of the hedge and unfortunately you don't get to see our new friend. For those of you that don't know, he's actually, oh, take that jump. He's actually up there. I can see a silhouette. And he is massive. I mean, massive, massive. So hopefully he'll still be here in the morning and we can come visit with him. It's really dark out here and I'm glad that they didn't add a bunch of predators over in this part of the world right now. I'm just gonna follow the shoreline till I see torches. Now, see, my food lasted all day. Well, that's not true. I did have a couple slurps, but I normally take a couple slurps as I'm running around and get close to a juice box anyway. Oh, yeah, I did put a marker up. I haven't even seen one yet, Carney. I spent hours looking for one today. All right, now that we're home, 
We don't have anything that we need to store. We can do all that in the morning. I am sleepy. No joke. I did make the new smoothie, T-Bone. We have a new smoothie called Liquid Gills. I did get that made. Which, since I'm messing around in the hedge, I don't need liquid gills anymore. Or right now. So, we'll just kind of tuck that away. Not that I need the, the liquid rage either. Now that I think about it. What do I need? I need mite fuzz. Sap. Woven fiber. I can get woven fiber. I have sap. I probably don't have any mite fuzz here. Nope. And we're going to have to go with broken shoes for now. I guess I'll just put the amp parts on. Or put them away. One or the other. There we go. Equip, thank you. Yeah, that's what I heard, Carney. All right, so we do have a piece of jerky, so at least we can eat that right now. Oh, I guess we had plenty of aphid meat, too. Get us a couple drinks. Let's see if he's still here. Nope. He'd he be gone. He took off. He's like, I'm out of you. Well, that's a bummer. Let's do this. Um, What can I do? What can I do? Oh, I know what I can do. Because there. All right. So let me do this really quick. Let's go display. I guess that's already on. Change that over to one. There we go. And we'll turn that off really quick. All right. So here you can see in this picture, this is the new big daddy that they added to the game. It is the bird. That is Allie standing next to the bird. <laughs> so you can see how tall she is versus how tall he is. So... Yes, we now have birds in the game. Uh, they they park at a few different places. Uh, the bird bath being one of them. Uh, the picnic table. They also land on one of the lasers in the yard, I believe. But yeah, that is our new buddy on the map. So, and they of course drop feathers, and you can use feathers to make other things. So we'll come see if we were delighted with a feather today. I don't even know how big these feathers are. But I'm not seeing anything down here. We'll go check up top. And we'll craft a sprig. Oh. Not seeing any feathers up here either. Nope. 
Nope, no feathers. No such luck for us. So we have to craft a sprig bow. Well, I guess we need sprig for that, don't we? And gnat fuzz and woven fiber. So I guess we'll pick up some sprig. This should be all that we need for that. Uh, we only needed three. We'll go find some gnats to kill. Now I can't see the chat again. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. One of them fell inside the mint box. That's pretty cool. And you can find mint pieces with the ants. And you can also get a mutation from the, uh, the ice cap mints. I shot him with 20 arrows when I first loaded in right after the update happened uh, today and nothing happened. I mean, nothing happened. So I was like, eh, not going to waste any more arrows on them because they just kind of disappeared. All right. Nats. Nats love water. What are you doing? Oh, do you want this little piece of spoiled meat? Come here. There. See, don't say ever. I, well, don't kick it back in the water. This isn't a soccer ball. That's food for you. You little shit. There. Oh, now he doesn't want any more. Ingrateful ass. Yeah, all these leaves make it much more difficult to swim around here. At least the fleas are pretty much harmless. The water fleas. Yeah, all the debris floating in here is a huge change to this area. No gnats. Still no gnats. Why is it every time I go looking for gnats, I can't find them? Can you build up here? Wouldn't that be fantastic? Your own little, like, tropical... Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. It's kind of sporadic, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, that is right on the water. See, and you can't even get up from like inside the water. You have to come back over here. Where did I make that jump from? Oh, it was over here. Because if you wanted to use any kind of like actual grass or anything, you'd have to make the jump. Still no gnats. I've been sitting here jacking around in this water for what, five minutes now? It's ridiculous. Them and the aphids are over jacking around. Fine. I swear I hear a buzzing noise. No, not the aphid.
This is like almost like a no man's land. There's not much out here. And I guess there's one dandelion. Oh, I have to go find a husky weed. <laughs> I have not yet looked at a husky weed. Oh, hello, larva. Oh, crap. Is all out here sunbathing or something? Oh, I see how it is. Damn, not having those slippers on. You bastards keep breaking my armor. Ugh. Oops. Crap. Oh, boy. All right. Let's get to it. Um, are you gonna gas out or what? And grubs make a crap ton of noise. They let you know that they're around. Ah, that's gonna. Oh, that didn't hurt. All right. Crafted a bed, saved at a spawn point, respawned inside of it, and had to recycle to get out. He's giving up spun me right back in. Oh, that's horrible. Where's the threat coming from? I'd like to put my armor back on. <laughs> At least something. Still under threat. Not under threat anymore. Any gnats? Come on. Yeah, that sucks. Crafting a bed and then spawning inside of it. That's no good. It doesn't work very well. I imagine that we'll be seeing a patch next week. No. But, uh, Carney, make sure to report that to them, too. I'm sure it has been, because I'm sure you're not the only one. But I would still make sure that I reported it. Come on, Nats. Maybe they're over by the roses. I should have looked when I respawned.
No, Frank, it's something you can actually build. You don't have to buy it as like plans or anything like that. Matter of fact, let me get over here and I'll show you. After I make sure there's no wolf spider in the soda can and then take the slurp from through the can because I'm like awesome like that. All right. So if we go into the build menu and we come over here, oh, I guess, we, oh, I guess it was the tables I was looking at. Oh, you need to scan the feather to get the bed, to get the blueprints for the bed. That's what it is. All right, gnats. This is so stupid. They're gnats. It's literally like one of the first bugs you ever run into in the game. Look at them all. I'm going to punch a weevil right in the nose. <laughs> he turned around like he was going to face off. You see that? See, so all the gnats are down here. That's one. Oh, yes. Come on, gnats. Come to me. I'm going to knock that pollen right out of your mouth. Uh, if you ever want to know where the gnats are right now, they're preparing to become bumblebees in the next update. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt if the freaking beehive will be on that light. And these gnats are being trained to be bumblebees. How much you want to bet? I'm going to have gnat meat for a month. Because don't think that I won't come over here and collect all of these guys. Oh, this is right there around the corner. Yep, they're all just going to kind of roll down here. All right, so we got a, a crap ton of... <laughs> and just gonna leave a pile of gnats there. Hey, they'll despawn in 48 to 72 in game hours. All right, what a woven fiber. That's the last thing I need. So, do I have any plant fiber? I do. Wow. Damn it, Becky. What am I going to drop for now? I guess I'll drop that stack. Pick that up. You guys don't want to follow me, I'm telling you. How's my inventory look now? Still full. Let's go hang up this meat when we'll go pick up some more meat. Hang that up. Etc. 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 God, Yule Brenner was a genius. There. I guess I need to go get one more so I can fill that last hook. Forgot to re-equip.
It's a shame to let all that go to waste. But I don't think that the two jerky rocks will be done by the time I have to go to sleep. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get my slippers fixed. It, you're ridiculously fast, aren't you? Oh, upstairs. It's insane. Yeah. What is re reflecting? What is what is that? It's not the first time I've seen it. That's some weird lighting thing, huh? It's like a spotlight following me. All right, so I need to make two armor glues. So I need mite fuzz, sap, and we need to make another woven fiber. Actually, I may have woven fiber up here. Oh, that. Oh, we have one. So we only need to make one more. How's everything else looking? The rest of our spider set is going to need some super armor glue. But I need one for my knee ant guard so that they're not totally trashed. So I needed sap and what else? Mite fuzz. That's what it was. So sap. And that's not enough mite fuzz. Cool chicken. No. No. Of course not. All right. So let's fix our slippers at least. So we can put those back on. They nerfed the old eye patch. That's a bummer. All right. So um, in this back chest, we're going to put I'm gonna put all this stuff in there. I don't need the sprig bow. I'm just going to dump everything in there for right now. Um. Don't need the ant set right now. I'm not going in the ant hill today. Still didn't change the look of gas arrows. That's a whole lot better. All right, so we need might fuzz. Well, that's easy. And we can come out here and change some of our markers, like the one over here at this juice box. Oh, you're right. I don't even know if we need those anymore. I certainly don't need any more eggs right now. Because my luck, they fix them. Oh, crap. Don't get stuck in there with a bombardier beetle. Found the mites I was looking for. They may not be the droids I was looking for, but they are definitely the mites I was looking for. Oh, that's sap. <laughs> I thought it was a stuck bug at first. I thought it was just like his butt sticking out. That 
five. Six. Here's seven. We're just going to gather up a bunch of light fuzz. All right. Is this clear down here? Yeah, beetles up there. Because I want to reset this. This is... Oh, what do we want to put this as? I guess what? Well, because there is a um, analyzer in there. And we'll make it... Um, I know we'll make it green. Because it's good to go. Because... D right there... Is actually our... Um, the hole, the larva hole, their exit for their little cave. Which doesn't make sense. You enter from over there and the hole's facing like you go in that way. So it's got to curve around. It's got to do some crazy stuff. Anyway, so we mark this one as a red so that we remember what it is. And I guess we'll just mark it as like that or something. So now we know. Oh, look, it's a husky weed. Oh, it does say husky weed. How funny. How cute. It's precious. Are you jumping at that poor husky weed? That's not nice. All right, that's 10 mite fuzz. Yep, so tier two weeds got an actual name. And we need to go back home because we have to do more quests in the morning. Hoping for some more new quests, please, Burgle. Thank you very much. Stop sending me on these assassin hunter quests. Because there is a mod out there, and I'm not afraid to use it. I'd rather not, but... Is that jerky? No. All right. Oh, those are nice little fences there. I just, oh, I suppose I probably should put them the right way, huh? Is there a right, right way? I, that? That's, uh, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's an aesthetics thing. They don't have an arrow on them. So do you want to see the, the horizontal rails on the inside or on the outside hmm what's more aesthetically pleasing well you can just jump over it carney <laughs> nope not getting jerky before we go to bed All right, we'll come up here and collect our plunder. Excuse me. Enjoy some nice weevil for breakfast. I don't think we need to be carrying around gnat and aphid. So we will own oh, not that box. This one. We'll tuck that in there. I really do need to spend some time off. Oh, look, there's the bird. 
Oh, don't fly away. I was just coming over to say hi. And he flew right over the house. So where was he sitting? On the light? That tastes really good. I imagine he was perched on the light. It's the only thing really big enough, huh? Come on, I just want to find a feather. Damn, oh my god, that grub scared the crap out of me. <laughs> that is not cool. Hey, Randy. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Mr. Wolf Spider. Don't mind me. All right. So let's see what awesome, great quest Burgle has for us today. Come on, Burgle. Give us something good. Don't make me stab you in the head with a spear. All right. Grave robbery. Oh, we have to control. At least I've never made a might hat. So I... Do have to make an acorn shovel though. Really, Burgle? You can give me anything cool. A quest for a chip that I already picked up. Like before the update. An acorn shovel and a mite hat. Fine, I'll take your measly 300 raw science. We pause for a quick break to make sure there's no wolf spiders and then sprint our asses off out the door. All right. So of course the grave robbery chip. I mean, I know where it is, but does everyone know where it is? I really do have lean twos all over this map, don't I? Ugh. And I have to go all the way home. <laughs> After all that beautiful aerobatics. Which is the, uh, the scabby scheme that's up at the top of the light. Uh, yes, it would be. They actually respawn it in there. None of them are broken, right? Nope, we're good. So, Randy Wolf, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Have you been here before? That's the big question. Wait a minute. Is that two different things that were going off there? Is there something else going off? No, I guess not. No, just the scabby. And now the scabby's stuck on there. Yeah, that is not supposed to be a chicken leg, a drumstick <laughs> a marker. Down in a hole. <laughs> Fair enough. That, that, yeah, that's a fairly good estimate considering that's part of the clue, Carney. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I guess, yeah, no, that needs to change back to this. There we go. Look at all the ants scurrying about. I thought they fixed the thing where there wasn't going to be a bunch of them with kill a weevil. There's like 15 ants here trying to kill that poor little weevil. Oh, missed it by that much. Change this back to our orange ant. There we go. So these traps are supposed to be much the significantly stronger, they said. Hey, come try out the, the trap. Look at those guys stuck under the lure. What are you guys doing under there? Are you hiding? Should I hit him with a gas arrow since I don't have any left? Oh, you never noticed that, Frank? Yeah. No, and it used to be like a little diamond thing, but now it actually says RS for raw science, so that's cool. Oh man, I missed the one that the Yeah, see wow, he popped fast. Alright. Time to head back down in. We are suited up. No, we're not. Oh, I've an hour. I've been looking for a single ladybug. I feel your pain. It's sprigs I need. At least you found one. At least it only took you 20 minutes. I swear the game goes, hey, go kill five of these things. And I'm going to hide them from you. Bastards. I should probably make a couple of these, huh? What am I missing? Oh, the actual woven fiber. I wish torches stacked. That would be wonderful. Probably need a couple more sprigs if I'm going to make more than one, huh? Yeah, that's always the case. I was hunting down aphids for two days. I had to kill 10 aphids. And I shot three gas arrows and killed eight. <laughs> they were over behind the potted plant next to the freaking pond yeah there was an, uh, like two orb weavers the ant that was stuck up on top of the, the the potted plant because it's tipped over probably need some more dry grass chunk And, and they go really all over the place, too. All right, let's see. Craft. Nice. Two torch pluses. Once more into the breach, my friends. Down the tunnel to the west, you should go. 
through the roots and the walls blah 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 oh no you have to keep going you have to go into the big opening all right you come out here to this first big opening bam look at this red walls oh wow oh go down the tunnel of red walls just like in the clue Down the hole is the treasure you seek, blah, blah, blah. Now, I wonder how mad they're going to get if I take an egg. <gasps> is that a broken egg? Look at that. That's something we haven't seen before. I can't actually pick any of the eggs up. It will not let me touch them. That's very intriguing. Hmm. All right, so down the hole we go. These guys are doing a dance down here. Obviously, there's our tape in the corner. You guys all fighting over one piece of food or something? So, this is the anthill burgle chip. Right? We've already picked this one up. But it's the chip for great robbery. So. So, only one new chip that we know about right now. This way. It's interesting that I could not pick up that egg. It's the long run. Yeah, I don't know if we need this trap here anymore. If they fix the ants getting stuck and stuff, then the eggs should spawn. But I guess it doesn't matter if we tear it down or not. Oh. For those of you that haven't seen this, this was my solution to getting ant eggs. Oh, wow. They really want that lure. Yep. So this is how that works. All right. So we have to craft an acorn shovel and a mite hat. What does it take to craft a mite hat? Never made one. Grub hide. Five grub hide. Well, we're going to run over to the house really quick. We're going to run over to the base ball. It got obliterated by this update. Let me show you. Someone went and stuck their big old boot print right here in our front yard. And now our stuff's all floating over here. <laughs> oh, don't go down in there. What are you jumping at? Why are you attacking my shit? Oh yeah, big old boot print here. As, as a matter of fact, look. They had to, they changed some of the, the, how the ground was textured. So now we're going to have to build something because we can't get up here. I guess we'll get rid of this light. Take that sprig. And we will build some stairs because now stairs will actually go there. Should have a weed stem over here in this little ditch. Don't need both of them, but what the heck? I 
All right, now we can go back in the base. All right, so we need Mite Fuzz and what was it? Rub Hide. So that's mandibles, that's heads, that's bodies. That totally makes sense. This is Grub Goop, yep. So let's take a look at some of these other chests here. We had spider chunks. Acid glands didn't change, which is fine. As long as there was some delineation between spider chunks and acid glands, it didn't really matter. A ladybug heads, hearts, stink bug parts. Noses didn't change. Boiling glands definitely changed. All right. What about this one? Anything different? No, it all looks about the same. All right. And we need to build an acorn shovel. Woven fiber, acorn shell. Okay. Did I take all the acorn shell out of here? I guess I did. Well, I guess we can head back over to the oak house because I know I have acorn shell over there and I needed woven fiber, which I don't have any here either. So we'll just stack that. We don't need that anymore. I don't think we need sprig. So. Craft a mite hat, a fuzzy, stylish hat that increases stamina efficiency. It gives you hyper stamina, just like um, the ant armor or the spider armor does. I wonder if it's the same. Wow, look at that! Our stamina bar just went up. So let's see if I take it. Um, no, I guess that was because we were running. Because this gives us, oh, that gives us the quickness. That gives us, did they change the, what did, what did they do? Um, I have three right now. And I bought two of them. I only know of four right now, so. The fourth one that I know of is Ant Annihilator, so. All right, so we have the Might Hat. I guess you just have to test it and find out. I'm going to stick with the spider. It's tier two. The mite hat's tier one. We do, we're getting close to needing a new dandelion tuft, so we might as well grab one. Oh, we definitely need to change the marker for this box. And we'll... Oh, they got rid of the little gift box? We'll just change it to a question mark. There we go. And a basketball. No, this is like armor stuff. So we'll make it turn that back into a shield. But is this super armor? It is. That's good because we can fix our spider stuff. That's wonderful. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Bugs. I don't think that was supposed to be a gem. I forget what I had there. Maybe it was the gear that I had there. Yeah. Got one for draining and refilling my stamina real quick while fighting an orb weaver. Oh, that's cool. This needs to be. Okay, so our gear's all fixed. Everything's all charged. 
Of course, my scabby's still stuck on scabby from when I was at the oak tree. Uh, we need to craft an acorn shovel. So I says, I guess we need to run over to the other house back over there. We'll trash this. Grab a new one. Should have equipped it. <laughs> You'd think I'd learn. It's been a month. You'd think I'd learn. Uh, Randy, you get them by doing stuff. Like, you can get a mutation that allows you to do more damage to ants and take less damage from them just by killing a bunch of them. Uh, you get mutations by finding landmarks. That's the natural explorer one. Two of them you can buy from Burgle. Or he has them in his inventory. Well, yeah, you still have to buy them. But yeah, they just showed up in his inventory. So, yeah. And right now there are 13, well, there's 13 slots. There's 13 little things here. And they said that more are coming. Okay. I don't have any acorn parts. Well, that's easy to rectify. Oh, bird. Where'd he go? Or was that just the sunset playing shadow tricks on me? Yeah, it must have been because he's not over there. Yep, must have been. I better like in the next day or so just go around and pick up all the acorn bits. That I've left sitting on the ground just to have them. Might as well fill a container with them, you know? I mean, acorn tops, I'm not worried about. But just having a full stockpile of acorn bits wouldn't be a bad idea. All right. So now we need to make the old acorn shovel. Just need two sprigs. I'd say we have a few sprigs in here. Does he want me to bring him back the acorn shovel too, or just the chip? Oh. So Randy, how are you liking the game? I mean, I've been at it a month. So is like Frank and everybody else. So I, I, I'm, I think it's awesome that you're just now starting. I mean, you're, you're coming in at a good time. They're adding more content and stuff like that. That's wonderful. I guess I better go take this chip back to Burgle. So he doesn't lock me out of getting a third quest tomorrow. That would suck. If I ever run in here and run into a wolf spider, I'm just going to like, I don't know, freak out. That's not what I wanted. It's not that much. It's good. All right, cool. Yeah, see, Burgle, I just gave you a chip. It should unlock something.
Even though I already gave you that chip. Yeah, see, and this in the upper, oh, it went away. That in the, you know, where it unlocks in the upper right hand corner and it said nothing there. It does the same thing for the other chip, which is unfortunate. All right, so now we can rest well. Yep, that happened. What time is it? 1920. I like what they did, how the the real science has little things flying across it. That's cool. Yeah, they have all the stuff, stuff, right? But it's not over here in the... It's not in the build menu is what it is. See, these are all head mounts. That's an armor dummy. Yeah, it's weird. All right. Is it time yet? Uh, 1957. Good. All right, we'll mac down on some aphid meat. Let's store the stuff that we've got here. Let's go see what our friend Burgle has this morning. Scared the crap out of me. Was not expecting him there. <laughs> God. Yeah, I expect to see him down there. All right, he didn't come in. <laughs> Woo -wee. I'll get your blood pumping in the morning. Acorn leg pants. Come on. A gas. Oh. That's the exact sound that's constant in my base, but can't find them all. <laughs> that's even worse.
Are they around back again? Where the hell is one that sleeps in here? Oh, there he is. Oh, it's stuck in his eye. The arrow was like stuck in his eye. That was awesome. I just wanted the arrow. Well, I'm thirsty. I probably should have drank something when I was at the house, huh? There we go. Hello, little ants. Cardio fan. Nice. I'll have to see what that is. That's a new one for me, I think. Let's see what cardio fan is, huh? Exhausting your tiny body over and over again, your cells adopt a more efficient respiration process. So I wonder what's better, buff lungs or... Cardio fan. See, buff lungs only has one star. Cardio fans one out of three. So do you think maybe these are tier tier ones? I don't know. I wish it was told us what it actually did. Not this little flowery thing. What does what boost does it really give us? That's what I want to know. Because if I run this one which gives me enhanced energy capacity. So enhanced energy capacity sounds to me like I have a bigger stamina pool. Oh, okay, cool. That's awesome, Carney. This one, with each landmark found, you gain a better understanding of the lay of the land. Your tiny feet traverse the yard like it's the back of your hand. So that means you move quicker. This one, exhausting your tiny body and over your cells adopt a more efficient respiration process. Okay, it is three different things. This gives you more stamina. This allows you to go longer on the stamina you have. This lets you burn less stamina. I don't know. Let's turn that off. And we're going to turn this on. And with all of my speed gear on, putting the hammer away, we're just going to go on a good sprint here. Get up to full speed. That's yeah, pretty fast. Oh, I totally forgot that these were over here. I could have been looking for these guys yesterday. I totally forgot that they were over here. Okay, so that's pretty quick. Now, of course, this is all subjective right now. We're going to come back over here. We're going to turn this off. Let's see if it does anything. Actually, let's turn that back on. We're going to sprint until we run out. Or I run into a rock or something.
All right. So here's where we made it to. Okay, we actually made it like this full stone further, right? Hey, Gary, man, I'm doing good. I'm just uh, testing out. Uh, we got mutations in the game now. So I'm testing out a bunch that seem to have something to do with stamina and seeing what the best combination is. How you doing, buddy? How's the how's the Falcon going? That's pretty much the same. Uh, start on the third. I wonder if this stuff even stacks. I know if I turn these slippers off, I'm going to be slower. Maybe not. She's moving just as fast without the slippers. Ah, uh, aphid. Not as far though, because we made it over there with the slippers. Well, that's good. For those of you that don't know Gary or Loco Four Pack, uh, he's a fellow gamer, fellow YouTuber, and right now he is building this very cool Millennium Falcon. And do you have all of the episodes, Gary? So, so like you bought everything at one time, so you didn't have to like wait and wait and wait. Anyway, you, you learned how to build different parts of this Millennium Falcon model uh, in these magazine episodes. or uh, Yeah. And, uh, but unfortunately, it only came out every so often. So that when this was first released, it took a long time for people to, to get all the, the pieces and parts they needed to make. Yeah, 100 issues. It took a couple years to get them. <laughs> Yeah, that probably would have been frustrating. So yeah, and yeah, I mean, Gary has a, a YouTube channel and he's doing that entire build on his YouTube channel. So it's definitely something worth uh, checking out. If you're into Star Wars and stuff like that. All right, so I moved this quickly, but not as efficiently with the slippers off. I think I'm going to have to set up some track where I don't have to jump. I don't have to dodge. I don't have to worry about running into things. Just a long stretch. And we always have the same starting location and we can just run. That's a good idea. No, that's very cool. I'm so glad to hear that, buddy. All right, so we're going to come to this crack right here. We're going to start on this line, right? Right where the points meet. This is the best that we can do with our feet in the rocks. So how much of your time is it taking up building all of it, Gary? Oh, I totally screwed that up. Yeah. 
No, not that. All right, so there's my arrow, right? So now let's take off just the slippers. Oh, <laughs> okay. Maybe we're, <laughs> damn it. Oh, crap. Okay. So it was like right here. Let's find something else that we can drop then. Maybe the spear. Let's drop the spear. Oh, that's better. Now we just won't kick it. Okay. So we took the shoes off and we have, let's run all three of those because these are all kind of health, energy, stamina kind of things. So, and here we go. What kind of desk? Oh, that's a... I should have done that. All right. It won't let me build it on the rock. Are you kidding? Okay, so that doesn't work. Can I build anything on the rock? Lean to? All right, lean to. So here's where I made it with no slippers. So now the object is, is still running all three of these. We'll put the slippers back on. I'm going to run over there and then I'm going to make that run again. So I'm moving in the same direction. I'm jumping the same distances and all that stuff. It's an L desk. Want to replace the cheap corner desk? Oh, okay. Yeah. I think you told me about that. Put the hammer away. Okay, it's no comparison. <laughs> no comparison. The slippers definitely help. So they are a cumulative effect, but I'm going to run back over there. And we'll try it again. Imagine we will have the same result. All right, Randy, have a great night. Thanks for coming in. Have fun with the game. If you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up. Always more than happy to answer questions. Oh, yeah. Definitely get the aphid slippers. So now the test is because the spider hood gives us the quickness. The shoulders give us the quickness. The aphid slippers give us the quickness. So they're all adding. They're all adding up. So if I take any one of these off, we should end up sh uh, right by the, the spear. Pretty close. Yeah. So obviously the slippers are better than the spider gear is for quickness. At least the shoulders. And I imagine that these all kind of had the same. So let's take the hood off. We'll come back over here to the spear. I'll try it again. I 
I think building a track would be better though. So I didn't have to jump and run and do all those things. Yep. That's about as far as I was away from the spear. So yeah, that's about right. So each of the spider gear helps about the same. Slippers definitely better than any one of the spider gear. So with all three of those equipped, we, we know how those handle. The question is, is these now. If we have a, a smaller pool of stamina, how do we do? I know this is kind of weird, but if I can help you guys have the best gear and the best set of mutations to move as quickly as possible, then I think it's worth it. All right. So it's almost as good as the spider gear. Definitely not as good as the, uh, so having the larger pool of stamina certainly affected it, but to a lesser extent. So we'll turn that one on. We'll, uh, we'll turn this one off, that one on. That's about the the same as the slippers, and I think. I mean, it was pretty close. Well, okay, so now we know that we started at the spear with without the without this one on. So let's see if we even come close to the spear from this spot over there. Yeah, mutations are definitely going to add a different spin to this game, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, <laughs> hello. So these two are interchangeable. It doesn't really matter. I, yeah, I know, right? So now let's turn this one off and have all three of those on again. With all the other gear on. I think that we will finish off that other rock because we're halfway through the next rock. I think we'll get to the end of that rock. And what I may end up doing is doing this as a video where I can record each run with the different modifications and then put it side by side on the video so that everyone can see how far I get. That's definitely the farthest. So yeah, if you want to run the farthest fastest, having two pieces of spider gear with the aphid slippers and the three stamina boosts is the best way to do it. Exactly. You know, and I can just run it side by side. If, if it's, you know, okay, here's the, it, I, I rank these tests, you know, blah, 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 blah. Here's the first four runs. Here's the second four runs, whatever it is. 
and I can set up like markers. Like, um, see, can I just put a, a floor down? See, I, I'd need to build like elevated floor or something, but I could, you know, like each floor, then I could just come in and put, well, actually what I would do is I would do it two floors wide. But then over here, I would actually grab one of these and I would snap it so that you could see as I was running past each one of them. So, and that's something I could set up in creative mode, I guess, where I don't have to worry about ants and insects or finding grass. You know, that's something easy to set up, but that way I can count. Okay. It's, it's three, it's, you know, it's, it's 50 floor panels or whatever, and just make it easy. There we go. All right. Well, this is a fun little experiment. We got to do a little bit of that. And these ants have been hanging out here watching me run all day. Do you guys have nothing better to do? Look at them all. They're so intrigued by me. They're like, it's a spider, but it's not getting mad at us. <laughs> See, I really want to find the rest of the... Um, Obviously, when I when I know all the mutations, I'm going to make a video about that. Because that's kind of a big thing. So I want to make sure that there's no other stamina related mutations or perks before um, I do that test, because otherwise I'll be like, oh, look, I made this whole video on this test. And well, there's another thing out here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Not where I want to be fighting this guy. Want to hit me, huh? I'm going to hit you. I won. I call you three of five. No, they did not. They didn't actually open up any new areas with the update. I think that they, um, they didn't get what they wanted to get done because the pond is supposed to be this big update. I mean, there's a YouTuber. I'm not going to mention any specific names. Some of you probably have watched some of his videos that swore it was confirmed. These things will be in the update. And he posted that video yesterday. And I'll be damned if anything he said in that video came true. <laughs> I mean, he was so off the mark. It's not even funny. I mean, it's sad. Because he was able to get into the developer side of the game using uh, the Unreal Unlocker, the console command. And um, so you can see stuff that they're developing that's like it's getting baked into the game with every update. And he swore all this stuff was going to happen and none of it did. I was like, oh, damn. All right. I wasted like a whole day running back and forth on the beach. Let's not get stuck in the weeds here. Oh, oh, your teeth hurt. You just bit into my mint mallet. Now it's getting dark. I guess it's time to go home. I gotta stop playing with my... Oh, the grubs are gonna kill me. They, the grubs are gonna give me the heart attack in this game. What? What are you doing on this side? I'm not fighting you over there. You could forget that. You gonna make me go around? Oh, that works too. So I'm getting stuck down here in the. Don't oh, fall in the water.
Yeah, but that's what like the armor and stuff is working on is is how fast you un unless each character has its own stat for how fast they regenerate stamina, which is something else that I heard. Like Ally, she burns stamina slower. That's a, it's a theory that's going on out there that Ally burns stamina slower so she can run further than other characters if they start at the same spot she could actually go just a little bit further where willow can actually if she's swinging hard at something like a like weeds or grass or something like that she can actually it'll be like one less swing for her to cut something down pete his hunger and his thirst uh take longer uh before they deteriorate uh and they don't know anything about what's going on with max but um so that that's the theory is that each character actually has some hidden traits that make them slightly different. I don't know if I buy it or not, but it's certainly something worth testing. Because it can all be proven. Because the developer's not telling us anything. All right, it's time to sleep. Do I have anything that's going to expire? No. Where am I going? Head's down here. All right, but yeah, if I wear the same gear, two pieces of spider gear and aphid slippers for all the tests, then we're just figuring out what's the best perks to put with that to get you the furthest, you know, the fastest kind of a thing. All right, so we have to craft a, a gas mask Kill another orb weaver. I don't think I have a nose in here. Yeah, which means we'll have to go to the other house. And acorn leg plates. Well, we have acorn pieces. I just tucked a bunch of them in here. What else do we need for that? Four sap, four woven fiber. Call it done. Great. Now I'm just running around with random armor. All right. So we need to kill one more orb weaver. Oh, I need to eat and drink before I leave the house. Hydration is the key to performance. I like how you can take a slurp from these now. And I think I want to park one under like each of the um each of the juice box straws. <laughs> Cedars don't have these juice drops just sitting all over the place. Ugh. Get off. So there's a, there's a, what, a footprint over here? Ugh, not down here. Footprint here, right? There's a footprint up at the top of the hill. Right here. And then there's one that's right here. 
at the house. But there's no more that way. So I don't know. Why can't I just grab a gas mask? Why do I have to build one? Four nat fuzz, two woven fiber, one stink bug part. And I probably don't have any woven fiber in here because I never have any woven fiber in here. Oh, I perfectly landed on the stick, but I wasn't expecting to land on the stick. Yeah, the fact that you get stuck in the boot prints I mean, I can't run, go anywhere. Yeah, that sucks. Make that three gas masks. All right, let's see. Orb weavers. Yeah, I won't be getting to that real science anytime soon. I know there's one that frequents this area. That's a wolf spider. Hmm. All right, well, I guess we'll head back over this way. Oh, is that one sleeping over here under this rock? Still can't cut these down. I 
I don't think the grubs are actually supposed to do that. There we go. Oh, I did too. I mean, scared the crap. I was like, what the hell was that? Okay, I'm going to go over here and look by the picnic table. Maybe, maybe the bird landed over there at some point because I know that he does land on the picnic table. So I hope maybe we can find a feather. Because we still haven't found a feather. I haven't found a cookie either. I want to know how the kids threw this hot dog that far into the yard. Is there another scabby down here or did that one that's in the sewage in the sewer respawn? No, I guess it didn't So it is a different one then Yeah, but they lead right to the mysterious machine. So there's got to be another one down here. No, not this way. Is it turned off? Getting weaker, stronger. No, weaker. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Screw the scabby, we'll come back for that. I'm just burning through arrows now. I was hoping I could knock off a feather. I know that they don't do any damage. I mean, come on. I found that out within 10 minutes of the update releasing today. <laughs> because I was standing right next to him and shot him with arrows. But he only drops a feather when, uh, when he flies away, right?
Come on, give me a feather. Give me a feather. Give me a feather. Now. All right, let's go see. I'm guessing no. No, no feather. All right, scabby. It's over here in this hole. It's a scabby on a stick. I discovered the scabby 3.9 theme. Let's see what the scabby 3.9 theme looks like. It's a bit gray. Gray and pink? Huh. Meh. All right, so what are we going to do with the rest of our day? Uh, the notebook is the strange note. Um, hold on, let me... Wolf spiders wander this area. This one here? That's the strange note one that gives us this. We're not alone. Here it says uh, Wendell observation record day 42, 243 or 223 PM surveillance room. A Wendell's research continues to progress. Although I'm still uncertain what he's trying to do here. seems like he's trying to use the berries from the hedge as some sort of leather substitute, but I'm not entirely sure. It's almost time for the team to rendezvous back at base. I need something solid to report or else I'm going to be in huge trouble. Maybe there's some notes on one of his whiteboards that I could jot down real quick before reporting in. Which spawned the... Let me go back in there. Sorry. It seems like Wendell had someone watching him check other labs for evidence of the watcher. I know that there's a, there's a hidden lab over behind the hedge lab, but I'm not sure. I don't remember how to get to it. That's the problem. I think I found that. Where did we find that? I think we found it in, it was sitting next to a terminal. Maybe in the, God. where did we find that? This really is a massive rock to build on. You could build a base that you would never, ever actually use up here. <laughs> but you're close to the pond. You're going to be close to future content. This is why it's number four on my top four base locations in grounded to see the video. Check the description below. 
Yeah. Trying to remember where I found that. It was in some sort of like lab location next to a terminal. It may have been up in the hedge in the, um, in that one room that you can get into. Maybe I'll head over there and show you. I think, oh no, I'd hate to show you the wrong spot. That would suck. So you think that that's a kid's footprint, huh? That thing's pretty big. And apparently the game's set in the mid, the mid nineties, according to the, the wiki, at least. Is there anything I even need here? No. All my armor looks good. Oh, I need some quartzite and probably one more spider web. There we go. Grab a few. Oh, that's not enough quartzite. Well, I'm heading over to the... I'm heading over to the hedge. I have quartzite over there. Oh, I know something I wanted to look for before I... You're just an orb weaver? All right, dude, come on. As long as you don't wake up that wolf spider next to you. Ah, uh, shit. Wolf spider woke up. Yeah. Come on, wah, wah. Ugh. Man. I don't. No. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Screw it. Grab that. You know what's not the fastest rate of one with all the spider gear off What is he doing out of the water? Someone capture this video. That was hilarious. <laughs> 
we now have flying water fleas. It's terrifying. Uh, no. No, they, but they do make a smoothie. They make uh, liquid gills. I'm looking for... I do I have to go all the way back over here? I guess so. I suppose I should probably put my armor and stuff back on. the body go did it roll down in the water no hey Nick um, I only do multiplayer, um, through uh, my discord and we got to get to know each other first. I don't use in, in game voice chat or anything like that. All right, Carney, have a great night. Have a great, uh, morning too. And I will be back uh, tomorrow night for our normal Thursday night stream. It's supposed to be off tonight, but hey, the patch came out, update came out, and I was like, yep, gonna stay here for that. I got at least one piece of nap meat. You can install Discord on your phone, Nick. Come on. Get with the times. <laughs> All right, we'll set our spawn point back here for now. Grab some shed eye. Man, I keep forgetting to refill my uh, my canteen, so I guess we'll do that right now. If there's any juice droplets left up here, or I could just go down there and get them. Oh, I forgot to re-equip again. Damn.
That's okay that you're on Xbox. The game's crossplay. Recommendation, always put juice in your canteen. It's better for you. Definitely need that quartzite now. Yeah, I play on both. Primarily, I play on PC, but I do have it on my Xbox. So if I just, like, I'm playing my own personal playthrough and I just want to chill on the couch, get out of this uncomfortable chair, then I'll just, uh, it'll cloud sink over. What the heck? I thought I had quartzite over here. I guess I do not. Well, shucky darn. Put that away. I want to go find that other lab. I know that the watcher's lab is over here in the hedge. I just got to find it. I want to say welcome to everyone that's uh, that's joined us. Looked up, saw there are a few more people watching. So, welcome. Well, that goes back the way we came. Certainly not over there. I think it may be over here, so we gotta get closer to the... It's certainly not this direction because that's the, the apricot puncho. That's my base and the field station. And you can't take the shortcut through the, uh, through the bird bath. Is it past the bird bath? What are these aphids doing up here? Going to be dinner. Can't go that way, that's blocked off. I was just over here. Oh wait, different playthrough. <laughs> I cut through the bird bath with this character. And I don't know why I never picked this one up before, Supreme. not up there. Don't fall off. It's not over here.
Real science. Oh, way up there. Definitely have to go get that. You see, this is essentially, I mean, this is the other way to come in, but... This is just a regular hedge lab. That's the first one I've picked up during the stream today. Yeah, you can either you can either cut across the bird bath and come in over on that stick over there, or you can come past the where the brood mother is on the frisbee. That's no, all right. This is where it was. This is the, it's, it's, I think it's right leaning up against this monitor where the strange note is. Yeah. This is the, the little lab room where you get the, the note from this one here. Strange note. Oh, one, but this isn't the watcher's room. See, I knew it was over here where you got that note. Just took me a second. That is where the raw science was. The raw science. Hi guys. Are you angry? But that was not the room I was looking for. And we've been all throughout this complex. I mean, I'm sure they're going to maybe hopefully add more stuff uh, later, but um, that's not what we're looking for either. And that's how you can get into that little room right here where it's all like sparking. What is that? All right, I'm going to save this right here just in case I need to get back up here because I want to drop down and see what that is. Oh, that's yeah. Or die. That works too. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. That's wonderful. But I know what that is now. Let's equip that, shall we? <laughs> that is the entrance that takes you down into the lower part of the hedge where that door is that's locked. This takes you to the bird bath, right? This is the way in from the bird bath. So this is how we came earlier before I fell off and I had to climb my way back up. But 
But I still might want to go up to that upper branch back again. Just want to explore around here a little bit more. Because I know that there's another little small base tucked away up in here. This, I think, goes out to that little observation little hub. Yeah, that thing there. It has like 500 raw science in it. I mean, worst comes to worst, I could always just turn on the, the camera mode and go flying around and look for it. But I'd rather not. I try and only use that for what I'm doing, like wanting to get different thumbnails and stuff like that. See, and if we get onto there, that, I mean, we've already been there. We've already looked. So. Where could you be? I don't know. All right, let's figure out where it is and then we will figure out. How to get there. So we've been to this one, right? Or, oh no, this is just some antenna. That's not an actual room. Yeah. You can hear something coming out of it. That's funny. There's the one that had the 500 science in it. What? Oh, it's the spiders down below me. Yeah, see, that is the exit for this entrance here. That would bring you up here, and then you run around. Then you hop up on the mushrooms, and then you can go into the lab that way. All right, I'm not seeing anything over here. Because we've been all throughout this lab. I don't think it's up. Well, certainly not up here.
right, so there's the frisbee. And we're out on this side. I'm so glad that they fixed this. Make it look like an actual outlet, not just some big black block. It'd be funny if it was like, oh, it's right here above your head. Why is this hose zipped? Or this, wait a minute, this was an outlet. Where's the rest of the power cord? Right? Follow, follow, follow. Yeah, it's plugged into an electrical outlet. That's weird. I just never noticed that it stopped before. It's like a whole maze up in here. Hello. Oh, no, we've already seen this room, right? Because we were in, we were in this side of the room. So that's it. It just kind of hangs out in this space here. I don't know. Oh, outside the fence. I don't know. It's not up here at all. No, we already checked this one out. Yeah, that's where we just were. All right, I don't know. We're looking for the watcher lab. Oh, wait a second. Unless the watcher lab's the lab over here in the wall. No, that this one here. No, that's not the watcher lab either. Oh, sorry to spoil this for you guys. If you, uh, <laughs> the fact that there is, this is the, uh, there's another lab right here. <laughs> Problem is, is that you have like three to five orb weavers and two bombardier beetles that live in this area. And you're going to have to build up to that. There's no way that you could climb up there. So you're going to have to build something. See, it's not underneath. We'd be able to see it. There's no use in going back into this lab. 
We've been there, done that. Earlier this stream. I'm not seeing a feather on the bird bath. Not seeing one under. Oh well. I heard that the uh that the the bounce webs don't snap like they used to. It, it is that's the same exact way yeah because you want the long straight edge towards you so you just boink and up you go except you'd want it right here weird it won't place here at all I mean honestly you could spin this and, and, and up you go all right I'm thirsty so let's grab us a drink No bird feathers today. All right, I guess we have enough time. We're going to head back over to the oak house. So we can pick up more burgle quests in the morning. Oh, fight, fight. Two fights? Yes. You broke my armor, you little bastard. Two orb weavers against a uh, a stink bug, huh? Ah, oh, 
my inventory is full. Look. Away. And pieces and parts went flying everywhere. That's not cool. <gasps> oh no, that's just his little leg. Stink bug part, stink bug part. Part. Yeah, sack. That is what I want. Obviously. We will get rid of woven fiber. Because that's easier. Alright. Now I'm going to go collect one. That's why I stuck a couple arrows in this other guy over here. What? Where'd he go? Oh. I'm not seeing any little bags anywhere. Yeah, just stink bug part, but I don't need parts. I got a crap ton of parts. Welcome back, Gary. Ah, yes. You'll chat with the wife. Gotcha. We'll meet the husky weeds. They're not fat. They're husky. Come on. I know you and I both have said that in our lives. <laughs> All right, um, uh, to the rack. And I need another armor kit, which I probably don't have the pieces or parts for here. Oh, maybe I do. Oops. Sap woven fiber. Oh, I guess I got enough. There. We'll make three of them because we use them so much. I do need some more mite fuzz though, because I want to test something with arrows. All right, Gary. Uh, inventory. Repair. Yes. Quartzite. Of course, it's the last one. Let's go ahead and repair that. How's our axe looking? Our axe is good. Repair our spear. Our bow's at about 50%. Might as well get that fixed. All right, time to sleep. I'm ready to hit the sack. Oh, that was loud. Sorry. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have to eat and drink and all do all that good stuff. No, give me the last one. Oh, did I miss a piece of meat? Oh, well. Well, we're all stocked back up with aphid again. Guess I can put the spider chunks away. Good 
Concentration is the key to performance. All right, now we can go see Burgle. I have to put my slippers back on. It's painful. I need my custom orthotics. Always happy to see a repeat. Three bold. Qu All right. <clears throat> We finally got the uh, chip sleuth for the cold blood. So we can finally go get that done, even though we're not going to get anything from it, which is upsetting. Uh, acorn chest plate, that'll be easy enough to make. And kill 10 aphids. Sure. Easy day. All right. So let's do the blood sleuth first. Uh, let me uh, pull that back up so you guys can see what it says. Observed by a reptilian sentinel and immersed in sticky red, this chip lies in the grassy lands houseward. As soon as I read that the very first time, I was like, oh, I know where that is. And we do have to keep our eyes open for aphids, which I totally forgot to do. That's one dead. Oh. All right. So this is where we're supposed to be. So reptilian, right? See? Reptilian sentinel. Oh, aphid. In the red, so it's in the paint. I actually know where it is. It's actually right over there. So, but it's very, very hard to see unless you catch that pink just right to see it there. So there it is. So that's how you solve the cold blood Burkle chip right there. And I don't... You're, I guess you're going to have to build because I could not find a way to climb high enough to get on top of the paint can. It's too far to jump. So even if you could get onto the porch, I don't know how you're supposed to be able to. No, I suppose you could do that if you had the dandelion, if you got on the porch. So maybe that's what we got to do. We got to get on the porch. Thanks for showing me where the aphid is, Mr. Might. Where'd he go?
That worked out well. I don't even think you can get high enough from those weeds, can you? Maybe you can. Oh, in the haze. Hi, Mr. Ant. So I guess we'll need a gas mask to try and get up on top of the porch. All right. Everything wants. What is that marker? The A marker. But I changed all my markers. Oh, that's the other juice box. That's what that is. Yep, that's exactly what that is. Why is the real science flashing here? Oh, that's still from the paint can. All right, so um, make the acorn chest piece. We can do that back at the house. So we just need to kill more aphids. Uh, you know what? We can go over out by the rocks, by the pond, and see if they're out there. All right, so since our inventory is full and we're running around with six aphid meat, might as well come over here and put it on the rack right now, right? Okay, I'm going to use this basket here. I just have a regular arrow. I, I guess I do have a canteen plus in there. I'm going to put all of my arrows, all of them in here because I'm testing something. All right. So I have fuzz thistle, right? That's all I need. Here's something that I noticed. Come to craft. Come over here to tools. It used to say arrow times 10. Right? Now it doesn't. It just says arrow. So I want to see if I'm actually going to craft 10 arrows with two mite fuzz and five thistle, because that's the recipe that we had before, or if I'm going to get a single arrow. Okay, so we do get 10 arrows. All right, that's good. I was worried that it was not going to be right. And that was going to bum me out. But now I want to test the theory about venom arrows. Because you used to get five. See, it takes five arrows and one spider venom. 
Welcome back, Gary. So we should get five Venom arrows. And we did. All right. So everything's actually working the same as it was before. No worries. Gas arrows. One arrow, one stink, ga or stink bug gas sack. But it's a one-time use. They should warn you. It should say that somewhere on here. This arrow is a one-time use thing. They should warn you about that. That's kind of crappy. All right, there we go. Homework, cooking, or what? What are we doing, Gary? What are we helping the daughter with? All right, um, oh, acorn chest plate. That's what we need to do. You picked the wrong house to come into, Mr. Nat. Yeah, I know you were, Frank. When you mentioned it earlier, I was like, oh, I should probably check that out. Ah, uh, pre-calc. God, I don't know that I remember anything from pre-calc. <laughs> Um, oh, we wanted to make the acorn armor. Uh, uh, chest plate? Is that what we need to make? Yes, chest plate. Six clover leaf, four woven fiber. I've got most all of it. This I can put away. That I can put away. That I can put away. That I can put away. I dig the whole single button push to deposit a stack. I am so glad they added that. Last time I even thought about calculus was nine, and it was pre-calc, my senior year. That was 1991 into 1992. Because I'm an old bastard. All right, um, over. Oh, we have plenty. There we go. Yep, we can make the acorn chest piece. Oops, here. There we go. Get another piece of armor that we just don't need. But whatevs. All right, so aphids. Oh, oh, we have to return the ship to Burgle too, but we can do that at the end of the day. As long as we do that before midnight, then we can pick up a quest the next morning. I see you, you little bastard. I still want the bee stinger spear. Yeah. I watched the, do you watch the video of uh, someone multiplying 35 by whatever it was? And they did a side by side of the new math versus normal just like multiplication like we did it in school and it was funny so as the person on the left who's doing the new math they're you know breaking it all down and doing all this stuff on the right hand side the guy just does the the, the quick multiplication like we learned it in school and uh, then he takes the camera with him and he goes over to a coffee pot and makes himself a, co a, a cup of coffee all the while the video on the left is still doing the same single equation 
and it made me laugh so hard. It was like four minutes for them to do this new math, and the other guy did it in like 15 seconds. Yeah, it makes it way more complicated. All right, we only need one more aphid. But you know what? While we're here, we might as well turn this chip into Burgle. As long as we don't run into our buddy, the wolf spider. Oh, oh, perfect timing. Even better. And I can analyze from across the room. Okay, so I'm going to do this whole... Look, we have nothing, right? No content data, nothing to buy, nothing. We even go into the show hide purchase. You can see all the stuff I've already bought, right? So now I'm going to give Burgle this chip. And it's a new chip. It's the one that they just added today. So we should be able to buy more things from this chip. Yes, I'd like to trade you some raw science. If you have any extra raw science. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I mean, come on. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure she will, Gary. All right. That's see, which leads me to, to also lends credence to the idea that I think that they wanted to do the pond thing this month. They wanted to bring in the bees this month, but nothing was working well enough for them to go, okay, we feel comfortable launching this. So they didn't. And I, I think that they got so wrapped up in trying to get those big things to work that they forgot to fix the stupid chip. Because that chip is supposed to unlock more things in his shop. That's the only reason you would go pick them up. Might as well start picking up all this crap before it despawns. That can... De oh, that's an actual acorn. Give me the bits. I don't want the tops. I have so many stinking tops. Mark Jackson. How you doing, buddy? How's life treating you? Gonna make me chase it all the way down the hill. All right. Well, keep in mind, Gary, that the entire team that is working on this project is 13 people strong. That's it. Everyone else at, at Obsidian is working on Avowed or whatever other project they have going on. 13 people. That's crazy. And this is an early access title. I mean, it, anyway, you know, a lot of people are, are upset, you know, oh, it's not working, you know, this, that. I'm like, you knew it when you bought it. You only paid 30 bucks. They warned you this game isn't fit for release for at least six months to a year. But we're going to release it early access because we feel that it's in a place that, you know, you can, it's actually playable. 
but don't expect the world because you're not going to get it with this title right now. But one of the new update or one of the new things in the update was that uh, items that you leave in the world, things like these acorn bits, because they belong in acorns. So the acorn bits, the tops, um, they will despawn now uh, within 72 hours or 72 in-game hours. So I'm going around and just kind of collecting all these acorn bits because once I pick them up and go put them in a container, they'll stay forever. And there, the four of them will fill you up. If you're totally like your whole hunger bar needs to be filled four acorn bits will fill you up so so they're a good food stuff they don't spoil that kind of a thing right i mean 76 was sold as hey this game is i mean it's a complete game you know pay us 60 bucks Right, we are truly their beta testers. And you know what? It's I'm okay with that. I was joking with everyone last night. I said, are you ready to get wiped? That was actually part of the title of my video. Is, are you ready to get wiped? Because it's an early access title. I expect at some point for them to go, yeah, okay. Um, we had to change the code enough that your old save files aren't going to work anymore. You're going to have to start over. I'm expecting that at some point. If they can work around that, that's fantastic. But So I think I had a bunch of people really, really paranoid last night that they were going to lose all everything that they had uh, done in the game. So... Might as well pick up all this sap too while I'm at it. I don't think sap will go away because it's found on the ground naturally, but the acorn bits typically are not. Yeah, like the spoiled meat, it'll be gone in a couple days in game, so. So Mark, how's life treating you, man? Inventory full again? Dang. Oh, I guess I can get rid of this one plant fiber. That wolf spider is going to fix me to come out here in a minute and kick my ass. All right, let's go put all this away. Yeah, you've been working hard. I bet you have been.
All right, let's see if our jerky is finished yet upstairs. Hopefully it is. It is. I can't complain. Uh, I, me and the uh, the nurse at the clinic yesterday both forgot to get my license back. So um, <laughs> I don't have a driver's license right now. She she mailed it to me yesterday afternoon, but I was supposed to uh, submit all my I nine paperwork today for my new job, but I couldn't do that because well I couldn't make a copy of my driver's license. I suppose I, I should always have copy of my driver's license just i don't know sitting around but yeah so that's how my day was and um i streamed until about 10 30 last night and then um was up or i stayed up until almost 2 30 making a video got up at 7 30 to uh upload the video do the thumbnail do the description and all that stuff and it went live at 9 a.m. So. All right. Is it time to sleep yet? Note 1950. Time is a ticking. That's good to hear, Gar. Glad to hear it. I have 14 aphid jerky in my inventory right now. That's great. Oh no, I'm trying to keep food over here. And then I have another five gnat jerky. All right, more requests from Burgle. Yeah, you're getting old, old man. Oh, <laughs> an auto renewed. That's nice. Howdy, it's good to see you again. Three bold questions. I have to make super armor glue. I have to kill ten lawn mites, and I have to make an eye patch plus. <sighs> These quests would all be great if it was the first time I had to make some of this stuff. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. All right, so super armor glue, lawn mites. Lawn mites are going to be easy. Oh, I almost made it. Well, Jackie Chan, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Man, I'm being subscribed to by celebrities now. That's awesome. All right, so I need to make super armor glue. I need one berry leather, four spider web. That should be simple. Do I have no berry leather over here? Am I going to have to go all the way back? I guess I do not. Nope. All right. Well, I need to head out that way anyway.
And the eye patch plus, what do we need for that? Woven fiber, fiber bandage, sap. So I'm going to take some sap with me. Because I just picked up a crap ton of it. We have the bandage. We have the woven fiber. Wow, we can actually make it all right here. Even better. There we go. Now I have two of them. I'm going to have like two or three of everything. Jackie Chan, subscribe to my channel. That's awesome. Oh, there's the other eye patch. Oh, yeah, it definitely all adds up. Absolutely. Role-playing games? How do those not help your knees? All right, Lawn Mite Super Armor Glue. Yeah, I need berry leather and spider silk. Is that what it was? I'm just going to sleep right here. Mr. Avid, you're not on my hit list today. You're, you're cool. Four? There should be four, more than four over here. Oh, I get that. My back was in a three-day spasm the other day just because I sit in this chair for so long. So what I do, I went and got a job where I'm going to be sitting in this chair for so long. since February I've lost 40 pounds so that always makes my knees feel better and my back seven to ten any more horse around up here I don't even think I farmed all of the quartzite out of this cave. The light. Maybe I did. No, I definitely did not. Might as well collect that while I'm here. Because this quartzite doesn't respawn, so... Might as well just get it and be done.
Gentlemen, we're getting old. <laughs> All right, guys, so I want you to think about this. All five of you that are currently, or six of you that are currently watching, I want you to think about this. I've been playing so, four hours and 10 minutes, right? And I did not play this particular character at all since the update, right? Because I, I only played this character, this map, for the stream. I have not done any new content. Other than killing water fleas, like three of them. It's the only other than seeing the bird. I have not found any new material. I've not done any content. I have not unlocked or moved the story forward one bit. So just think about that. But they did decide to put a big ass fucking footprint in my front in my front door. So much so that my pallets are floating in air. <laughs> and whoever said that that's a kid's footprint, I don't think so. That's a baseball. Okay? If you look at that baseball compared to the size of that heel, that's not a kid's Boot print. That is an adult but boot print. No, just not finding it. The quests I'm going on are build this piece of armor, build this weapon, you know, build this whatever, or go kill these bugs. But all the bugs it's telling me to kill are stuff that I've been killing for a month. The only, matter of fact, the only quest, if I come in here. So, super armor glue is not anything new. Lawn mites aren't anything new. We're not alone. I actually had before the update. This is the thing that you want that says, hey, look, check the other labs for evidence of the watcher. I went looking for the watcher lab, spent nearly, what, an hour tonight looking for the watcher lab. I know the area that it's in, but I couldn't find it. I don't even know if I can get into it once I do find it. So it's really, really weird that they're not like, here, go do this and just start a chain of something. All right, so we need to make uh, super armor glue. We need berry leather, which I knew that I had a bunch here. And you know, I'm gonna go ahead and make a few of these because I'm gonna, I need them anyway. So it's stupid not to just have them in stock. I should have a chest full of nothing but armor glue. I mean, it only takes spider webs and one berry leather. Spider webs are easy to come by. Yes, and I already checked it tonight. Yeah, I checked the Hayes lab. It is locked. <laughs> yeah, all the labs are still locked. Exactly. Now, I mean, they added the bird and the bird is supposed to randomly drop a feather. So then you go get parts of the feather and you can scan them and then you can start building new things. You can start building the tier three stuff. Uh, there's a, a cap, a hunter's cap that you could build with it. I haven't, I don't even know what it looks like, but a, a, it's like an archer's cap or something like that. So it's supposed to help you with archery. I can't find the feather. <laughs> So, 
It is what it is. All right, so I built the armor glue. We'll go put this in the armor chest. Got seven of them now. And might as well just grab a couple more stacks of spider webs. It's not like I run out of this stuff. I trip over it. I leave it sitting on the ground most of the time. There. Plenty of super armor glue now. So that when we need to fix things, we'll be able to. Because now you can't repair the bee armor, the rotten bee armor for free. You could before the patch, now you can't. All right, check our weapons. Decent, great. Put the quartzite over here. No. Guess we'll go throw this aphid up on the rack. Nice thing is I can leave it sitting there for a week, come back and just pluck it right off of there. I'm definitely going through thirst a lot faster. Really good. Maybe it's just because I didn't hit any juice boxes today. All right, so there's another mutation that if you hit all of the juice boxes, you can get that. So I think the only one that we haven't touched on today, see so we touched on the one in the hedge we touched on the one out by the pond and both of those. The only other juice box, look at that wolf spider just cruising on through. The only other juice box that I know of is the one that's over in the haze. So maybe we just grab a gas mask. We have enough of them. Go trucking over there and uh, see if we can't trigger that mutation. Now, of course, that's all speculation. That's just what I heard someone say on Discord. I was on the uh, grounded Discord today. Uh oh. <laughs> Have a great night, Mark. Give the family love for me, and uh, I'll catch you again soon, buddy. Juice, juice everywhere. Sucking it through a straw. Mr. Worker Ant, you can't be in here. You're gonna die. See, look, you're taking damage now. All right, I also wanna see if I can't get on to the porch since I have a gas mask. Because I want to get the raw science off the top of that paint can, so it'll shut the hell up. But I think we have to do it from over here. from two different directions, you little turds. All right. See, it is way too tall over there. Same thing. No, I don't know. Is that grass tall enough right there? 
I have to be careful. There's a bombardier beetle over here. I think it's very pissy. I think maybe if I climb this weed, maybe I could jump over to one of those blades of grass. I've tried to do this before. Everyone keep this in mind. I died right here. Because it triggers that bombardier beetle when I come over here. And then I fall and then I die. Just like that. Except I didn't die this time. Because I don't think the beetle will chase me over here. Oh, while I'm down here, I wanted to, um... Also wanted to make sure that, um, I double check. That I, I kind of trigger the, the haze lab with my, uh... With my scabby. Alright, so I didn't get a mutation by getting over by this juice box. Nothing, 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 nothing. Now, if we wanted to see inside there, we could. I could make that happen. Now that we could interact with anything. Because I don't have that turned on. But I could turn on the debug camera. Maybe I can I can get on the porch here. Oh, wait a second. It may have been worth it to come over here. Just how do I get up onto these mushrooms? Maybe I come over here and start over here. that way a little ant Come on. The gas is from this big ass. There it is. The weed killer 420. <laughs> so that's why you have like all the infected little bugs in here and stuff like that. All right, where'd it go from here? I could go that way, but that's the wrong direction. I need to go that way.
That works. Oh crap, this isn't the porch, it's a step. <laughs> Damn it. And nothing is high enough to get onto the porch. I don't see it any way. Let's maybe over on this end. Yeah, there's a lot of little jokes like that in here. Nope, not this way. Who's the bird? He's flying away. Oh, mind that gap. And all the work to get up here and then to find out, oh no, I'm in the wrong place. Whoops. Whoops. Ladybug, what are you doing? You'll eventually die here. Oh, you're eating a little aphid. Mm, was it good? Okay. Damn it, Ladybug, you're messing up all my jump points. Dang it. One of these days I'm going to figure this out. Just not today. All right. So let me show you guys. Where's the entrance again? Here's the entrance. I'm actually going to go up here. That way nothing will bother me. I'm not going to take any damage. So at least you guys can see right now what's in here. So here you, they were like doing an experiment on the, the infected weevils.
Yeah, because we're in Deba. Well, there's a tape there that we can listen to. There's an analyzer. And going through this door, we go down a long hallway. We come through here. So then we're in this cave system underneath. Not seeing anything over here. Of course, I can't add any additional lighting because this is just a debug camera. In fact, I don't even think like bugs will show up. So then it leads over to this door. Good stuff breaking. Oh, it's the batteries. It's funny, they're nine volt batteries. All right, so what's in here? Another switch, just like we found over at the hedge lab, a switch in the up position. And once you pull it down, it does nothing. Now the hedge lab, we didn't, I was actually able to, I could have pulled it down if I wanted to, but I didn't because I didn't know what it did. So, and let's see. So there's no other door in or out here. I don't want to fly into the void. I'm trying to, you know, stay. So obviously the switches are going to power something else. All right, so we enter back in here, continue on this path. Looks like something broke out of here. Press a button there. So we can go over the top of this. Caution, low voltage. That's funny. And in here. I don't see anything else that we could actually interact with. But this may be the watcher lab. I mean, if I were going to be calling the watcher, wouldn't this be where I'd be sitting all day? So that monitor and that monitor don't make sense. Well, I guess they all can all pivot and stuff like that. Holy crap. That looks worse than the back of my desk. All right, let's get out of here. And then I am going to head home for the night. And there may be other things down there that when the, the debug camera's on that you couldn't see or something like that. He's noticed you don't see any bugs moving around or anything like that. So. All right. Let's turn that off and we'll head home. Hey, dude, don't you tear my house apart? All right, anything I need to put away? Yeah, a bunch of mite fuzz. Put the mask away.
I am sleepy. No joke. All right, so we'll come up here. We'll grab our little piece of jerky off the rack, which we have <laughs> so much freaking jerky. Grab us a couple sips of water. And go make sure that there's no spider still sitting outside our damn door. Which there is not. Nice thing about having your base up there is that you could go out the back. You could jump off that side. You could jump off that side. Yeah. So you could do back pretty quickly. All right, guys. I think that's going to wrap it up for me. I've been sitting in this chair since about 7.30 this morning. So that has been uh, 15 hours or so. so. I think I need to go like, uh, I don't know, recline or something like that. But I will be back tomorrow night, a uh, regular Thursday night stream. Uh, more grounded than Friday night. Um, probably Mass Effect 2. Just to keep things on our toes for a Friday night game night. And uh, then Saturday night grounded, Sunday night grounded. Yeah, lots of grounded. Eventually, we're going to find some new content to do. And until next time, guys, um, I appreciate anything. Um, if you uh, want to talk more about the game. Yeah, I dude, I have a blanket that's underneath me because I've been sitting in this chair for so long. that I haven't given the padding time to come back. <laughs> so I have a, a blanket for padding. Um, if you guys want to talk more about Grounded, then uh, check down in the description below. Uh, hit my Discord channel. And uh, there are several players on my Discord channel that are playing Grounded. So it is a wonderful place to uh, to commiserate and um, kind of, you know, share stories. Uh, maybe where you found something cool or something like that. And as always, thank you very much and take care of yourselves. Good night, everybody. Uh, Mark, uh, Mark already left. Uh, Gary, thank you very much. Uh, Frank, thank you so much. Uh, Frank, if you find anything, send me a message. Come on, dude, hit me up. And uh, anyone else that's watching, uh, take care of you guys. Take care of yourself, guys. This is Drake Winvictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya.